Hey guys, in this video we're going to be showing you the new Beta 5 for Red Snow. We made a few videos, but this one adds a, a new update that fixes a lot of the issues people were having with Bluetooth and the like. You don't have to use USB mucks anymore, and it's just an easier experience all around. So pretty much everything works, but the only precursor is you need your 4.2 uh, Beta 3 SA SHSH blob save. You can check Tiny Umbrella um, to see if they're saved. This works, um, it's 0 0.9.7, which means for the newer devices, this works for the iPad first generation, iPod Touch fourth generation, and iPhone fourth generation. You're going to need the respective 4.2.1 uh, firmwares and the respective 4.2 beta 3 firmware. We'll have links to get both of those in the description. And you're only supposed to be able to have this firmware if you're a developer, which we are. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open this folder um, and open Red Snow. This is a fairly complicated procedure, and we've been trying to do it a few times, and the recording hasn't worked too well. First so, step, yeah, you can see here we have our iPad, which is currently plugged into the computer. Just restored. And also, one thing to note is this is only for the Mac. It's... Um, PC is still not supported, there's nothing we could do about that. So first step, hit browse, go to the 4.2.1 uh, restore which you'll have on your desktop. You're going to wait for it to process and then proceed. Once it is uh, or finished, you're going to... And to patch the firmware, so you're just going to go through that. It's fairly quick if you don't have anything else running. And you're going to have to be doing this like a bunch, so... Remember. Okay, so the next step is you're going to just... All you have to do is check the install Cydia um, button and then you're gonna hit next. You don't have to do anything else. Now what you're gonna do is turn off your iPad, which we'll do right now by holding the top button and sliding to power off. It's now so powered off and we will... Now it gives you the next, when you, when you hit next it'll start giving you the instructions to put it into DFU mode. So Adrian's gonna hit next and then Two. gives you the instructions, it tells you to hold the top button for three seconds, then hold the Both home button and power button at the same time for ten seconds. And then let go of the top button. Then release the power button and hold just the home button for fifteen seconds. You don't actually need to hold it for fifteen seconds. Just until this happens. And eventually, while you're holding the home button, it'll start doing activity on red snow. Now you're, you're done with reboot everything your you need iPad. to do. And then it'll say downloading jailbreak data on your iPad. And eventually, the uh, Red Snow will say done. And you'll get a bunch of command line stuff on your iPad. So this is, and then you can basically close out a Red Snow because everything else is done on the iPad automatically. And we'll leave this on and it, click the annotation right here to skip this, but we're leaving it so you, if you're doing it with us, you'll be at the right time and you don't have to pause the video along with uh, showing you everything that's happening just in case something goes wrong and basically this is all manual just wait for it to restart when you come back it will be um, the device will be just like normal I'll have Cydia but it won't work and then you'll have to go and open up Red Snow we'll talk about all this and in do the, the procedure step. and it's automatic not manual So it does stay at the moving application screen for a little while. That's nothing to be worried about. It does that every time, so just wait for that to pass. Alright, so we finished and it rebooted and everything, but now you can see if we open it up, City is just a blank icon that doesn't open. So now what you're going to do is open Red Snow once again. Remember so to keep your device computer. plugged in. You're gonna and you're just going to open Red Snow, go through the same steps as before until you get to the screen with the check boxes. So open up your 4.2.1 firmware, let it process, process that. then patch. And now it what's goes your through that. Now what's your and now you're gonna check uh, just boot tethered right now, and then go next. And you're gonna have to do the same procedure. So put it, turn it off, then 
hit next. Hit next when it fully turns off. And follow then the instructions. follow the instructions to put it into DFU mode. And there we go. So what you'll note here is uh, once a few loading bars go by, your device will um, flash white and then you'll get the pineapple loader. And and basically the iPad just reboots after a little bit. It says done on the red snow screen. So you're done with red snow for now. And now you just have to wait a little bit for the iPad to finish rebooting and everything. And it'll be a total and it'll be a fully working iPad with Cydia. The only difference is it'll be tethered so you won't be able to reboot it. If you wanted to reboot it, you'd have to do what we did right now. Yeah, you'd have to plug it into your computer each time. So we just you can click on the annotation if you want to skip to the next step. But yeah, so it's just gonna be a tethered jailbreak now, which is totally normal, but we're gonna be showing you the extra steps you can take to untether it. And basically what the whole point of the beta is. So you can see we have City right now. You can open it, and it does the whole reorganizing bit. But if we try to reboot it now, then it'll say that you can't. So, so we're just gonna go out of it. It, it does work, as you can see right there. And what we're gonna do is go into the next step. What you're gonna have to do is open Red Snow a yet third again, time. so third time, and then go through the steps to pick your firmware and everything. Four point same two point firmware as always, and it'll process it again, patch it again. Only this time after it patches it, which will be in a couple seconds. Now when you get to the check screen, you're going to want to check... Uh, uh, uncheck install Cydia and then check jailbreak Monty untether. So this will just be untethering it and it gives you a little message here about anti-piracy telling you that only developers can download the 4.2 beta 3, so please don't pirate it. We'll have a yeah links in the description, but... <clears throat> but you're not supposed to technically have that unless you're a developer, so we'll hit OK. And now you can just select the beta firmware. That which you is can the 4.2 followed by this. It might not be the same code, but it's just to distinguish, there's no point one after. And it'll look like that. So you're going to hit Open, and w once this is the only thing checked, you just hit Next. Oh, it, it might lag a little while. And then you're gonna hit next. Same, and then same procedure. A third time, go through the steps to put it, turn it off, and put it into DFU mode. We have powered down the device, and now we can hit next and follow the steps again. So hold down top for three seconds, then hold down top and home until the screen goes blank. Then you can release the top button and hold down just home until the application responds. There we go. This step takes a little while longer. And you won't and you won't get be getting any uh, feedback from the progress bar. It'll just be blank for most of it. So this takes around five to ten minutes. So we're just gonna you can click on the annotation down below if you want to skip this whole process. But we're just gonna wait through it so you can see about how long it takes. And we'll, we might be talking throughout this, but nothing too important. So if you want to skip it, just go ahead and click the annotation below. And you can see that it does change the title ones. If it's not changing after like a minute, there's probably a mistake. But we'll show you exactly what happens. And eventually the loading bar will come. Make sure it doesn't uh, go to sleep. <laughs> and everything is fine with us. <laughs> Just waiting it out. Right to close if you got this far, hit thumbs up. It always helps. <laughs> and hopefully if your iPad work. hasn't crashed yet. And also check out jailbreakmatrix.com. We'll have a link in the description. 
for a text um, tutorial if this didn't work out for you. Also, we're partnering up with them to do a bunch of great stuff. And don't forget to check out our app school tool. Because you can search in the app store and it's only a dollar, the pro version. Free version is coming out soon, we'll be submitting it any day now. And now you can see it's starting to change. We're getting a little bit of feedback from the progress bar. It's running the jailbreak again, exploiting with Lime Rain. And soon your iPad screen will flash light. Once again, downloading jailbreak data. And soon to reboot, you can see it does the command lines. So we yeah, get that back. And it'll have a little thing that says waiting to send jailbreak Monty files on the computer so you can just wait for that for a while and it goes through the pineapple again phase pineapple Shut off. <laughs> and then and now, it'll say done. Finish, you're done with your computer now. iPad will reboot. Everything else, everything should work now after your iPad or whatever device reboots. And so you can skip the whole rebooting process. Click on the annotation. And you're done with your Mac now, as I said. And there we go. Now we have. The iPad uh, jailbroken, you can see Cydia will open and we're not going to um, start it up, but, but you it, can see it, now it does we, work, it doesn't just quit out. It, and I'm just going to show you a full restart so you can see that it actually is fully untethered. See, and so shutting it off, and then just put it back on the table. And when I turn it on, I'll put it back on the table. And now you can see we're not doing anything with the computer. The iPad is restarting completely on its own. You don't need the cable. Yeah, we've unplugged it. And the big part is Bluetooth does work. It's not uh, disabled in the system. And there we go. It's restarted. So it's fully restarted. Cydia Cydia still there. opens. Cydia still opens. And we just don't want to go through the whole initializing system because that takes a while. But, but if it doesn't work, it will literally flash the white screen and go back. So if it opens up to the initializing file system, you know it worked. So that's the jailbreak. It's actually a lot simpler than it's been in the past. I mean, not, not past jailbreaks, but this beta is a lot better than the previous And betas. it works pretty much flawlessly if you do it right. So just follow the steps that you see in this video. Have any problems, PM us, uh, send us a message on Twitter. Whatever, we'll try to help you. Follow us at iPod Uplink. Check out our app school tool. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. subscribe.